Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 for a look at our local weather brought to you by 45 North, serving breakfast and dinner daily in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Year round, you can see this forecast for the Maine High Peaks region at our website, WSKITV.com. And we kick off the presidential weekend with nice weather on Saturday, mostly sunny skies, few clouds creeping in in the afternoon. 10 to 14 at the top of the mountain, 19 to 23 at the base, so it will feel like winter. A little bit of a breeze, definitely no issue with any of the lifts, knock on wood. Should be a great day up there, but you will need to dress for wintry temperatures. On Sunday, we'll have flurries to start with, and then clouds will clear, and we'll have partly sunny skies by the afternoon. It'll warm up a few degrees, 18 to 22 at the summit on Sunday, 28 to 32 at the base. Winds, once again, not an issue, just a little bit of a breeze at the summit. Should be good to go with with all the lifts all weekend. And then on Monday, if you can stick around for the long weekend, Monday looks pretty good too. Mostly sunny, warming right up with 40 at the base, 30 at the summit. Clouds will be on the increase later in the day on Monday. We do expect to have them roll in for Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe even a couple showers on Tuesday. Wouldn't you know it? But it will at least be nice and mild out there. So take advantage of the snow on the hill. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Saturday. Machine groomed, hard pack, that's what you'll find up there. 83 trails and trail sections are available. 56 will be groomed overnight, including some of our favorites like from the top, White Nitro. Wedge, Skitter, they'll leave the bumps, but they'll also do around them. And they'll do Comp, Gage, Hayburner, Kings, Tote, Bridal Chain, Timberline, Spillway Sluice, Go Go Line, Lower Winter's Way, and all of the base area trails, Candy Side Pipeline, and all those around the three S chair lifts. On the east side, they'll do Hallback, Choker, Flume, Widowmaker, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Springboard, Pole Line, Slasher, Rollway, Wiffletree, Moose Alley, and on the west side, Windrow, Scoot, Good Chance, and West Mountain. They will crank up the snow guns once again, taking advantage of those good temperatures on Saturday to make some snow way up high on Gondol Line Extension and also on Hay Burner. Snubber, good to go, 8 o'clock on the weekends. Sawduster and Skidway at 8.30 and the Moose Collator at 9 o'clock. Both sides of Double Runner also 8.30 start on the weekend. And we also expect to have West Mountain at 8 o'clock, Super Quad and Skyline at 8.30 and Timberline at 9 o'clock. So everything should be good to go. Winds don't look to interfere. And the groomers will be doing their magic, making sure wherever you go, sweet corduroy because pretty much only terrain open is that which is groomed. King Pine Whiffle Tree also open up at 8.30 on the weekends. If they need to, they'll even crank up number three T-Bar. Cross-country ski conditions are good, although the snow is soft, so they have pulled the fat bikes off the trails for the time being, and likewise, that's affected the ice rink. Let's hope for some colder temperatures to get the ice rink back in action for you this weekend. But the cross-country skiing is great, and here's what the story is on fat bike conditions currently. Most of the trails did hold up well before we got that little bit of a warm-up, and now that things are so soft, we'll have to take a closer look. As the weekend wears on... Widowmaker has the Dave Keller Band playing tonight, so check that out. That's upstairs in the base lodge if you're looking for some live music. That's one of the places you can head to. Another is the Shipyard. Every single Friday night they have music, and it is truly a tradition around here to head to the Shipyard. That's in the Sugar Loaf Inn on Friday nights. Or another option is right down in the valley, where they also have music on Friday evenings as well as Saturday. That's the Sugar Bowl, another great stop on your way up. That's the Sugar Bowl down in the flats right there on Route 27 by the airport. We are everywhere all year round. WSKITV.com is our website. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, keeping you in touch with what's happening throughout the Maine High Peaks region. From the Canadian border to Kingfield, we keep you in the know with everything there is to do around here because we are the insiders on the outside.